Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get a mic check. If you guys can hear me, if you hear my voice, drop those airplane emojis in the chat. Micah, I see it. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Jay knows the way. What's up, my friend? Welcome to the street. William McDonald. What's up, my friend? How you doing, man? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing all right. Happy Fly Day to you. Mikey D knows what it is. What's going on? Beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back. It's your boy, Lou, and happy Fly Day to every single one of you guys. I hope you're doing well today. To start off, we are in the Fin Air A320 by Phoenix. Good up, Ken LeMay. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Welcome aboard. As you can see, they are currently deboarding from the previous flight. We are currently in Oslo. Country is this in? You might know what country Oslo is in. <laughs> uh, Sweden? No, Norway. It's like right in between. I'm not sure which one it belongs to. We up here. And we're headed to Finland today. Yes, sir. Greg Feast, what's up, my friend? to the stream. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm in a really good mood today. Uh, Oslo somewhere. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Let's do a quick walk around. Uh, before we get started, while everybody's boarding on, Paul Toll, welcome to the stream, my friend. Representing York, England, welcome to the stream. Mike D says it's Norway. All right, good to know. Thank you. Uh, no. Bring the music down just a little bit. Hope you guys had a great week so far and ready for some flying today. I know I am. Let me go ahead and start right here while we're doing the walk around. I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone. Something's in my eye. <laughs> Something's in my eye. What is in my eye? Uh, thank you to everybody coming out to the stream, hanging out with us. Thank you for your patience as well. Uh, the past uh, more than few streams, we've had significant performance issues, uh, a lot of bad stuttering, a lot of low FPS, a lot of issues, and it's been frustrating. And honestly, it's just, for me, it's just not been fun. So I want to say thank you guys for sticking around, for coming back, uh, for supporting the channel, even with uh, the issues I've been having, not just with the sim, but with my actual machine, with my computer itself. But I want to say, I think I fixed the mega stutter issue that we were having before. Uh, and it's funny what fixed it. It's so funny what fixed it, because it wasn't my GPU. Matter of fact, I went and got more RAM this week. And uh, I thought that, that fixed it. It did not fix it. I still got the mega stutters that we've been having the last few streams. And uh, so long story short, found out that the thing that was causing my GPU to lag was the my desktop screensaver. Yeah, freaking random, right? So apparently, you know, if you guys have seen me go crash the desktop before, you know that I have like a rotating slideshow of my favorite screenshots as desktop backgrounds. And that exact function, the slideshow function, uh, was what was causing my whole GPU and my whole computer to lag every 60 seconds exactly. Because I had my slideshow set to change my uh, picture on my desktop every 60 seconds. And for some reason, that caused a major, what I call, mega lag spike. So crazy, like computers are so weird. Um, so I, fi I turned it off yesterday, I think. And since then I have not had a single lag spike. Now we just did a whole walk around, around a whole aircraft and not a single lag spike. I'm not getting 60 FPS, I'm not getting 120 FPS. But as you can see here, we are finally able to rotate the camera without lagging like freaking crazy. Oh my God, that was so crazy. So they're finishing up uh, d getting the boarding and getting the bags off the aircraft. Yes, sir. I got a fresh cut. It's been a long time. 
coming. No longer do I have the homeless beard going on, the uh, the slave haircut as I called it. Um, but thank you so much for noticing. Anyways, let's get started. I'm ready to fly. I'm ready to finally fly the thing. So today is gonna be a bit of a, a test to see if the lag comes back. Uh, I hope it doesn't. Um, but this hopefully will be uh, a good smooth flight. I'm hoping for a good smooth flight. I don't want any any eventfulness. I mean, we do have some nice snow here in Oslo uh, currently, but uh, yeah. So we're cold and dark, literally cold, literally dark, and we're gonna get started up. So um, let's go up top and hit the external power. And I'm gonna bring up the sounds so we can hear the amazing sounds of Phoenix. And battery one, battery two. Uh, set to tomorrow, ah, uh, for me, I'm not sure yet. I actually have plans this weekend, uh, and I don't know how often I'm gonna be home. I might be, I might not. I don't know. <laughs> I, I have no clue. That's usually how my weekends go. I don't make my own plans on the weekends. Um, cause my plan every weekend would be just to stay here and play games, and that's not what most people want to do. So. <laughs> All right, so we got our battery on. We got our external power on. We got the the buttons on. Nav logo lights uh, are on. No smoking signs are on. And let's get the nav. AD is ready to go there. Let's go back down to our FMC. I'm just tripping on how freaking smooth uh, this is is being so far. Now I do have my graphics still turned down because again I'm, I haven't upgraded my PC. We'll talk more about it later. Um, but I am in the middle of the process of building a brand new what I call Mega. PC build. It's gonna be ridiculously overkill and amazing. So I'm looking forward to that. But um, let's go to actually we do menu. Uh, but I'm not done yet. So we'll talk more about that and in, in probably in a cruise. But I'm really excited about the new PC. Uh, looking forward to turning everything up to like high max ultra, like literally. All right, so it's gonna flight initialization. Uh, init data request. If you're just joining us, welcome aboard. We're in the Phoenix A320, flying Finnair from Oslo, Norway, I think, to this place, EFHK, which is Helsinki, Finland. Yeah, that's where it is. All right, that's good. Let's go to init. Init request. Yes, sir. Ultra. <laughs> yeah, she's been keeping me busy. She's got me going out with friends and stuff like that, making me be social. <laughs> Uh, are you having an issue with your 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 gear? Are you trying to contact support? Is that what the problem is? All right, so uh, that should import our flight plan right there. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Get my charts. That's what I forgot to do. Get that over here in the background. Uh, so our cruise level today is going to be, I think, 37,000? Yep, 37,000 feet. We might make it that high. Today's flight is only literally an hour long. It's a nice short flight. If we get there early enough, we might do it. Yeah. You know, We're ready to go when you are. Might do a second leg. I'm not gonna make any promises, but we might make a second leg. We'll see. All right, we gotta stay on the schedule. We have 26 minutes for to departure, so let's get this kicking cruise. Traffic, DHL 992 heavy, six mile final, main right. I got some traffic in here, yeah. Pretty cool. All right, there's 7,006. Let's go over here to our beautiful EFB from Phoenix. Uh, I would just send, send another email, uh, Micah. Zach Hamilton, welcome to stream. Pixel, welcome aboard. Good to see you, Will. Hope you're doing well. Going to Phoenix and... Wait for that to load. And we'll import from Simbrief. Uh, five hours. I must have set my time wrong. Oh, I know why. Because the in sim time has changed. We're just going to ignore that. All right, so here's our weather. We're going to ground services. Uh, I'm not going to do the GSX loading because we'll be waiting for that. So let's instead go to mass and balance and load aircraft. Yes, it is snowing. To do fast nine minute load. Uh, that's the reason I flew here, honestly, because I've been wanting to take advantage of some of this winter. Refueling truck is on its way. Please don't load aircraft until the fuel truck arrives and ask to do it. Got it. 
I didn't tell you to send the fuel truck. Why are you sending the fuel truck? I'm already loading, so it's too late. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, it's snowing. And I flew out here because it's snowing. I, I want to fly into some snow. I keep missing the snow events. You know, it was snowing in the US. It's still snowing, actually, I think in some spots. Um, but I've been, I keep missing the snow. And uh, I was like, you know what? I know where I can guarantee snow, Finland. <laughs> Finland, Norway, and Sweden. It's always snowing out here, even when it's not winter, it seems like. So we're gonna head out there. Let me get the weather uh, here real quick while we're waiting for that to load. I think we can go to, is it uh, my flight? Yeah, my flight. What up, Willie? Welcome to the stream, man. I hope you're doing well. Happy belated New Year to you as well, man. All right, here's our weather for Oslo. 080 at 4. A bunch of numbers. A bunch of more numbers. Snow. Scattered at 14. Is that 100? Wait. 1400? Yeah, 1400. Broken at 2300. Uh, temperature is minus 5. Dew point minus 6. Q and H is 1009. -er. Cool. Thank you, Hunter Productions. I really do appreciate that, man. Welcome aboard. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to pop up or if it popped up earlier. But uh, thank you for the subscription and welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. I hope you enjoy the flight, my friend. I hope you do. Uh, I don't think it's 14,000. I think it's 1,400. All right, so 37,000 feet would have set this here. Again, we're currently the IRS is aligning. That's going to take five minutes. And it's going to take about five more minutes as well for the passengers to finish uh, boarding. So in the meantime, we can kind of take care of some other things. Let's go down here into our FMC and go to our flight plan. And currently, there's no ATC here in Oslo. We might, if we get lucky, get ATC in Finland. There's currently ATC right now. But an hour from now, it might be a different story. So I'm going to click on ENGM departure. And uh, as people always ask me, how do you learn how to fly these planes? And one of my biggest answers is watching live streams. So if you're into flying uh, aviation and flight sim, and you want to learn how to fly these planes, pay attention uh, to streamers and what they do and how they set the aircraft up. You know, even take notes, pause. Liter that's literally what I do. I have like in my phone, wherever my phone is, I have notes for like almost every aircraft of a list of the things that I need to do to get that aircraft set up. Because what happens is, as you guys know, I hop between planes very often. So if I don't fly a certain plane for a certain amount of time, I will absolutely forget how to fly that plane. It happens in DCS all the time. It happens in uh, MSFS all the time. So I take notes so that when I go back to that plane, I can remember. All right, so let me get my... Uh, we're departing runway zero one left, which is right here, and it's going to be the Mace Four Alpha. So this is our departure to Mace Four Alpha. Uh, might have clicked twice, and it looks like there's no transition because Mace is the transition. So we'll hit Insert there. That'll put that into our flight plan. When I hit up arrow, just scroll down, which is backwards but weird. And in EFHK, we click on our arrival airport. Click on arrival. And then ILS 04 left as of right now is what we're expecting. So we'll click on that for our approach first. Fuel truck is in position. Okay, is it really? Please don't load aircraft until the fuel truck arrives and ask oh, it's, to do it. It's definitely too late. You know, I want to watch it. I haven't seen the fuel truck do this thing in a long time. What up, Wayward? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. These guys are in no rush. <laughs> no rush at all. Any uh, ramp workers in the chat? Any fuelers in the chat? Any airport workers in the chat? Let me know. Don't hit my engine. He's gonna hit my engine. He hit my engine. Uh, is the fuel truck a mod or part of the game? Uh, it is a mod. Uh, the mod is called GSX. And GSX does all the ground services. And yeah, that thing is a bit off, but okay. We'll ignore that. Okay, he's in a hurry to get back. I've never seen the flag thing before. I wonder where they do that. Like what country or region. 
Now he's gonna go up here, he's gonna attach the fuel handle, there we go, to the aircraft. I'm not sure why he keeps disappearing. Love and peace for the new year, mate. How's the job going? Bro, Willie, what's up, man? Thank you so much for that super chat donation and thank you for your continued support. Make sure you guys go and check out Willie Canucks. Uh, I, I'm assuming you're still doing it. Uh, his radio uh, podcast. Is it radio or podcast? I'm not sure. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Which one it is? But he has a show online where he talks about flights in and gaming and things like that. It was really entertaining. He had me on before and I enjoyed my time on there. So check him out. Uh, if you want to, Willie, you can drop the name of that show in the chat. Turn. There we go. Ah. Eh, I guess that works. Uh, good question. Are the numbers working? Let's see. Uh, you step down. Oh, okay. Uh, the numbers are supposed to work based on what I put, so like, uh, it didn't want me to actually fuel the plane. I didn't call, I don't know why they came out here, I didn't call them. So we're actually almost done loading the aircraft. I'm not sure what's going to happen here, but usually you can, you know, set load aircraft after the fuel truck gets here. And the numbers should show up correctly. That's the way it's supposed to work. It doesn't always work that way. All right, so ILS-04 left. Let's finish our flight plan here. And our uh, arrival into Helsinki. I haven't been here in a long time, by the way. Is the Laku 8 Bravo. Uh, hopefully that is in here. Oh, oh there it is. Laku 8 Bravo. Uh, but cool, man. I wish you the best of luck, Willie. Uh, see, uh, starting the stream, I would love to check you out, man. I'm not sure when you go live. Um, I would love to check you out, man. Are you live on, is it YouTube only? Or are you doing Twitch? And transition is no transition, so insert there. All right, cool. We'll go here, through here and check our flight plan. And make sure there are no discontinuities, no gaps. There's a, a manual right there, but that's okay because that's going to be going to our approach. So we'll leave that in. Yeah, other than that, everything looks good. When we keep scrolling, it should take us to the beginning of our flight plan. Beautiful. So now we can go to in it. Yeah, in it next page here on the arrow, and we should be done loading. Bring the beard back though. Y'all like the beard? Y'all like the beard? I want to see what happens if I try to load the plane again. I guess I'd have to reset it because they're just standing out there. They ain't doing nothing. And I didn't call them. I did not call you guys out here. Yeah, fuel truck is in position. You no, know let me try this. I got an idea. I got an idea. Uh, reset. All right. Uh, my flight. Import sim brief. Ground services. HD, what's up, man? How you doing, bro? Bro, I fixed my problem on Microsoft Flight Sim with the stuttering. And on X-Plane, uh, I think, did I fix? I did reinstall X-Plane, and it did fix um, my radio problem I was having. I'm going to load aircraft and in instant. Go take a look. Yep, there it is. It's working. So that's the way you're supposed to do it. Uh, it feels a wait until the fuel gets into position and then go into the EFB and then hit I just dropped my mouse I just dropped my whole mouse hold on <laughs> I don't know how I did that it was in my hand ah. alright I got it um, but yeah so you go in here and you go to aircraft load and you just hit instant and that'll do it uh, don't do like the timed one I don't think it'll really work that well that, that way uh, how's the PC building going? It's going pretty good. Uh, again, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get in cruise. But uh, all I'm going to say right now, and I'm going to repeat it later, but we are really close. Really close. I just, I'm, I'm like, ugh, I'm so, it's fr I, I'm so close. So I can't wait. I, every time I, I look, I, I, I'm so close. I mean, it can be done as early as next week. 
Um, but mo- realistically, they'll probably be done by the end of January. Realistically. But it could be as early as next week, but realistically, it'll be probably be end of January. Um, which is pretty good, because my birthday is actually January 31st, which is the end of January. So hey, I think this might be a pretty good birthday present for myself. Okay, uh, what are we doing? So we're waiting for fuel to be loaded and whatever. So we can just go here and load up our perf page, our init page. So as a weather, uh, mass and balance. Since we did instant, we should have instant numbers. So our zero fuel weight is zero, uh, six zero point, we'll put eight, so we'll round up. So, six, so six, 60,700. We'll put 60.8. So let's go in here. 60.8 slash uh, 29.5, which is over here, the Mac GW. So 29.5. And if you guys don't know, I know some of you are new to Flight Sim, or maybe we're not out when uh, Phoenix initially released, but this whole iPad app, you can actually uh, mirror it on your phone, on your iPad, on another screen. Um, which is super helpful. I used to do it before my iPad, uh, you know, got thunderstormed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so if you have one, I recommend it. So our load is in the tank 6,344 kilograms. So put 6.4. 6.4 is good. 6.4. And that's good. Uh, next, we're going to go, see, this is the end. We'll go to perf page. That's right, EFB. You want to go on the home button? Go to departure perf. Yes, my iPad got Oshkosh. I didn't say it because I didn't think everyone, everybody would get it, but yes, it got Oshkosh. I'm excited too, Randy. <laughs> People keep saying they're excited to see my new PC and how it runs. I'm like, hey, I'm also excited to see because it's going to be new to me, and I think you guys are definitely going to see the excitement in my face. Um, all right, so you see OnePlus F, anti ice, yes, engine and wing packs will be on. Uh, wet runway, runway zero one left. Go ahead and sync the load sheet, and sync our live weather, and then we hit calculate. The Oshkot iPad accident. I'm really surprised my laptop survived Oshkot. I didn't think it was gonna make it. Alright, so V speeds one four two five three five four four two five three five four four two. Dang it. <laughs> one four two. I think 5-3, my memory is not the greatest, 5-4, let's see if I got it right, yes sir, alright, cool, so flaps down, uh, 1 and down 0 0.2, so flaps 1, and our trim is down 0 0.2, there we go, oh, that's not the right place, dang it, I gotta type it again, 1, slash, down, Zero point dose and check on our fueler. Oh, they're gone. They're done. Cool. Cool. I think what we should do because they take a while to do stuff is get them uh, prepared to push back. We're just about ready. Matter of fact, let's get the APU started. Uh, fuel tanks coming on. Fuel pumps coming on. Uh, oh, we can do the icing. I forgot about that. Yes. The icing vehicles are coming now. I completely forgot about that. All right, SEPA signs on, beacon light on. No, sorry, no beacon light. Master switch on the APU, fuel pumps are on, good, good, good. And let's finish this up, flex 48. I know a lot of people like doing toga takeoffs, but I don't know, man, I'm a flex kind of guy. I'd rather do a flex takeoff. It just, I don't know, it just sounds cool. Flex takeoff, like, what does that even mean? I mean, I know what it means, but it's still. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, Albrin, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? What is up with the lag on the graphics? I am not getting any lag right now. Uh, I used to get lag uh, last week, but I fixed that issue. All right, that's good. All right, we're good to go. So it's for short runways. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm right, we'll gonna go to at two over here. We we'll go to uh, AOC menu. Go to receive messages. We should have a message for the load, load sheet. And I think we got everything. We got init page. That's good. We do a win request if we choose. Do that. Oh, you're curious what was causing the lag issue. Yeah, you'll never you'll never guess it. It was my uh, screensaver slideshow. 
That's literally it. My screen server slideshow was causing the lag. I turned it off, no more lag. So um, I'm not sure if anyone else uses that feature on Windows where it allows you to have like, uh, you know, a, a group or a series of screen or of uh, desktop backgrounds kind of cycling through each other every however often. I had mine set to, uh, to one minute, every minute it changed. Or you can set it to 15 minutes or whatever. So that's what was calling, causing my, uh, my lag. Confirm issue. aircraft is ready for treatment. All right, perf, good. Just going through, checking through things. Flight plan looks good. Rad nav is all right. Yeah, we're good, we're ready to push. Uh, I still don't understand the fluid stuff. Oh, so we're just gonna go with the, whatever they recommend. We begin treatment now. And Which observe probably wrong. fluid type. One, concentration at 75%. I will call you back when ready. Copy. Are they in position? No, not yet. Oh, there they are, there they are. Where's my drone cam? Uh, yes, I am on Microsoft Flight Sim Multiplayer, but I am also on VatSim. So uh, if you're on Microsoft, you'll see me, and if you're on VatSim, you'll see me. And escorts are welcome as long as you are professional. And uh, not a meme. I am disconnecting. Good day. I think you're supposed to have like all the exterior doors closed <laughs> when you do this. And I was in the middle of starting my APU. But you know, it is what it is. Our APU is on though. Oh, we'll disconnect the external power. And we'll get rid of the, uh, the GPU in the Phoenix menu over in ground services. Due to icing conditions, please stand by for engine start until push is completed and brakes are set. Copy. Also kind of like got an accent there, I hear it. Uh, type 2 fluids are, are designed to remain on the wings of an aircraft during ground Captain, operations. We are ready for push back. Ice. Ooh. My username is, I think, bluegames5412, I think. I think that's what it is. Temperature right now is minus five in Oslo. Yeah, Jay, I need like some kind of a uh, chart to teach me how to remember the different fluid types for anti ice. I never did that on the ramp. I would love to, but you know, I don't live in a city that. Uh, that needs it. How do we see where we're pushing back? Uh, we are using 01 left for departure. I don't have my chart. I forgot. So I loaded. Import flights. Import center. Who else in chat loves the new uh, Navigraph chart app? I freaking love it, man. I've always loved the Navigraph chart app, but now with the change they made, it's just so freaking good. It's so good. Like, I know, like, for people who don't have Navigraph, it's like, eh, do I really want to pay a monthly subscription for charts? 
And I feel you, because I don't either. I don't want to pay it. Before Microsoft Flight Sim came out and how Microsoft actually updates their Iraq data every update, uh, which is really nice for free, X-Plan doesn't, doesn't do that. Uh, we need to go back. I don't know. It's a weird taxi position. Uh, let's go. We need to push back. Yeah, that way where he is. So nose to the right. I need him to move out the way. Alright, cool. So hopefully they'll move out the way behind us. Alright, so he's, he's pushing back. Nice. I think he's... I think he's reversing, like, reverser back. <laughs> Alright, the jetway should move out the way here. I'm not sure why it's still connected. These are not AI, these are people. I have AI turned off today. For performance issues. Right, I gotta... I think we can do it, do it here. The door's closed? Yeah, it is, okay. Um, brakes lease. Gonna push. Uh, tail left. Alright, beacon's on. Doors locked. Alright, now the jet bridge is here. Uh, by the way, this is the free Oslo scenery. Uh, you can't see it too much because it's snowing and it's very low visibility, but... There is a payware version as well that I thought about getting, but I was like, no, I'm really trying to save my money right now for this PC. Oh, we have a safety sound. Please stay focused for the next few minutes, even if you're already familiar with the safety instructions. Our crew has been trained to ensure your safety is and comfort. 5412, not my username. You must always follow the instructions given by our crew. Uh, just come over to ENGM you may GM and you should see me. I'm on USAE server right now. But we ask you to ensure that they are set to flight mode from gate to landing. You may switch to normal mode after landing. All other electronic devices, such as laptops, must be switched off and stowed for both takeoff and landing. Make sure your armrest is in the down position, your table is uh -oh. stowed, and your seat back is upright. Uh -oh. Your window shade must be open. Tower just came Remember online. To your devices for take -off and landing. Just now. And if your seat has a footrest, <laughs> Why is it that every time I'm pushing All back, I get the BP? Be every time. Make sure that your remote control and video screen are also stowed. Alright, brake set, let's connect, show us a pin. Alright, one thing I like to do during the first back is turn the lights off in the cabin. There you go, that's much better. Alright, what is he on? What frequency is he on? It's like 118.3. Alright, we will start engine uh, one. Yes, that is Pack X doing the announcements. I downloaded a Finnair safety video and converted it to a WAV file, and that's what we're listening to now. 
Let's get our clearance and get out of here. Uh, where are we at? Who are we? We're fin? Is it Fin Air? What's the call sign? Is it Fin Air? Is that how you say it? I think it is. At 18.3, us locked in. Uh, we're going uh, Helsinki. We're in Oslo. Oslo Tower, Fin Air 116. Uh, questing IFR to Helsinki. Uh, type A320. I'm um, sorry about that. Can you repeat that one more time for Finnair 116? First part of Finnair 116, leave my airspace, frequency change approved, and then uh, no report traffic. Frequency change for Finnair 116, leave my airspace, frequency change approved, and then no report traffic. Nordic 620, clear for destination Helsinki. Master 5, Charlie departure, only one matter left. Initial climb 7000 feet, squawk 7373. Park 7373, Finnair 116. Alright, he changed our departure and he changed our runway. So, we have to uh, adjust that. Uh, we were expecting 0 when I left. He's giving us the other side, which is uh, any other, yeah, 1 9 on the left. So, we're departing south instead of starting north, which is going to change our departure. Um, I got to find out what that departure was because I kind of missed it. Let me ask him again. Uh, Tower, what was that departure you gave us for Finnair 16? Finnair 116, departure, Masters 5, Charlie departure, and everyone man left. Copy the Masters 5, Charlie departure for 19 left. Uh, Finnair 116. Finnair 116, I need you to fully back. Working on it, standby. Alright, let me find that. He did change our whole departure. Uh, 5 Charlie, I, I do have that chart. Let me get rid of the old one so I don't get it confused. Go away. <clears throat> and he also cleared us a 9,000, I believe. Mr. 103, you want to left, clear for takeoff, the wind is 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, 05, in the moment, six almost correct. Seven thousand feet for initial climb. Seven thousand initial climb for Finnair one six. Finnair one six, she's back correct. Beautiful. All right, so we got that. So May seven five Charlie. So we gotta go in our FMC and uh, replace what we have. And we're expecting also, seven thousand. We'll go ahead and freeze like that here. We're sitting on one engine right now. And I'm just going to go in here to ENGM at the top, go to departure, and hit one niner left, and then the Mesa 5 Charlie departure. And I believe the rest should stay the same. Uh, but insert. He didn't give us a new transition, so keep the transition that we had. And then, if you make adjustments like this, you want to definitely make sure to go back through your flight plan and make sure everything is legit. And it looks good to me. So we need to get rid of this, this continuity before our type of climb. I'm just going to hit clear. And put that there. And then hit insert to activate that. And that's good. And we'll go through a whole flight plan, make sure nothing else is missing. Because one of the most annoying things uh, you can have is you, you know, do your whole FMC, MCDU setup, get in the air, and your plane starts flying in circles. You guys probably know what I mean by that. <laughs> you probably know what I mean by that. All right, so that looks good to me. Now we got to go back through our perf page because our VSP's got deleted. 
because uh, now we're on a different runway. So I want to go back over here to our departure uh, perf because again, since our runway changed, runway length has changed, and that changed our V speed. So one nine and left there, and we'll sync everything again. Uh, altimeter is still one zero zero nine er, and we'll hit calculate. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, this is the uh, next level uh, Boeing chair. I'll show you guys probably a better uh, view of it once we get started. I said 314244. Very different, actually. V speeds. Very different V speeds. Our flex is the same. Our trim is the same, but our V speeds are very different. So 134244. 131. I'm getting hungry. I might have to get an in flight snack or something. 142. What was the last one? 144? And 7,000 is a transition altitude 219. It looks like a delete our flex. Our flex is 46. I think that did change. I think the flex did change. And the next page we'll grab our clean 219, which will be our um, pre selected speed. I confirm. Next phase. And it's already in there. Beautiful. Okay, we're good. So FMCs are pre programmed. And we got 7,000 put in there. We got an altimeter there. There is an ATIS. I'm just going to grab it here on the side. Uh, thank you, Vargalo, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blu-ray family. Welcome aboard, my friend. Good to see you. All right, we have information. Bravo. You know what? something else that's really cool about the Phoenix is we can actually see the ATIS right here in our EFB. Let's see if it works. Deuce Legend, what's up, my friend? Welcome aboard. I click on D slash ATIS for VATSIM. If VATSIM is on and if there's an ATIS online for your departure or arrival airport or your alternate, it should. We'll see if it works because now it doesn't want to do it. There it is. Is that it? I don't know if that's it. No, that was our, that's our regular METAR. So sometimes, maybe not today, but suppose when you click on this button, it shows the actual ATIS. It's not working right now though, but it's okay. All right. Anyways, we're ready to go. Let's go fire up the second engine. Starting to, and yeah, we'll turn the sounds back up so we can enjoy the sound. I like the sound from the inside better than the outside. Uh, Vargalo, you're going to start playing this game soon. Do you have to know all this? No, <laughs> you do not. Um, you can start much simpler. And a lot of this stuff is done for you already, so don't have to worry about all this. But learn what you can and pick up what you can and uh, learn little by little. When you first get in the flight sim, it's very overwhelming. And I'm going to shut up so you can hear the sound. I think I think that's it. Yeah, it's still kind of stabilizing. It's almost done. Uh, where are we at? We're in front of... What gate is this? Uh, we're facing south on what looks like Delta. Yeah, so let them know. We, uh, ready to taxi. No way it is for me today. Yep, that's right. Alright, so engine one, engine two, both stable and available. Uh, put that back in the center mode. Flaps one. We'll check our spoilers, and I don't know, they're, they're not deploying all the way, which is weird. It is working. Not sure why that is. I right, AP you off. Runway turn offs on, taxi lights on. Uh, yes, we all kind of missed the dog barking. I think I didn't go there early enough. All aboard! Why are my spoilers not coming out? Thank you so much, Young Stunner, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Welcome aboard, my friend. Hope you're doing good, Young Stunner. Alright, auto brakes max, and we'll do a quick flight control check and ready to go. Right, full left on the rudders. That's good, nice and comfortable. 
and we'll check our joystick, make sure our joystick is working okay. I see Alright, yep, everything's working pretty good. Beautiful. Alright, we are ready to taxi. Facing south on Delta, we got Scandinavian pushing back. Shoot, let's call it in. And we have information, Bravo. Oslo Tower, Finnair 16 is uh, ready to taxi. We're uh, sitting on Delta facing south. Finnair 17, Mama 6, Delta 7373, hold position. Copy, hold position, Finnair 16. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Delta 7373. Yeah, because he's pushing right now. So we gotta wait. So I get to reach at. I know, right? Dude, sometimes I feel like that. If I miss the sound uh, for for like the engines and stuff like that, I feel like I need to go back and shut the engines off and restart again. You know what I mean? That's like one of the key parts of a, of a, of a, of a flight. Where? Yeah, one, one, six. Set transponder. Seven, three, seven, three. 7373, if you know 16. I forgot to do that. Alright, two Fox Hotel, Unicom, one, two, that's my name. Alright, so set our transponder, 7373, and put it on auto and CR. And that's good, it's set. So we're going to 1 on left. Then right on Gulf, then right on Golf, then right on Yankee. Victor and Sierra to holding point, running one minute. Shoot. This is why you should always be ready to copy. <laughs> Alright, uh, Finner 16 to 1 on the left. Uh, Delta, right on Golf, Yankee. Uh, and then, what was it? Victor and Sierra to holding point, one minute. Alright, then Sierra 2 holding port, Bravo 9 or Finnair 16. Almost right. Delta, Golf, Yankee, Victor, and Sierra 2 holding port, Monday 19. Okay, gotcha. Delta, Golf, Yankee, Victor, Sierra, Delta, Bravo 9 or Finnair 16. <laughs> Did I get that? Did I get it this time? I think I got it. He didn't, he didn't say anything, so I think I got it. Cool. <laughs> Alright, well, we're clear to taxi. Race, please. Alright, okay, clean five. Unicorn one to two. That's my name. And give some, give some juice. Uh, Unicorn one to two. That's my uh, Thank you, uh, Nordic uh, three nine five. Oh, hello. So this is golf. This is Yankee. So the good news is that he pushed back. Gave us space so that we could go around here, making a 180 turn. A very nice Norwegian Air 737 right there. Nordic 620, request taxi. Nordic 620, taxi by Golf, Yankee, and Victor, and Sierra. Two holding points, we're going to so we're going to continue this way, he said to take Victor, so we're not going to turn on the first right turn, but the second right hand turn. And I got to say, this is kind of our first time really getting a good look at the Freeware Oslo, and I'm personally saying I recommend it. Um, I know there's a, a Payware one, and the Payware, payware always is going to trump, usually, the Freeware stuff, but this one is, you can tell this was a passion project. And that whoever designed this airport and Microsoft Flight Sim has done a really good job. All right, so it's gonna be the second turn right here. This should be Yankee. See Yankee there on the ta on the taxiway. Make a right turn here. I'm actually turning with my the twist of my joystick right now, not with my feet. I prefer to do it that way. If I have a twist function on my controls, 
Uh, for the 737, though, I use the rudder because on the TCA yoke, I don't have the ability. I don't currently have like anything to turn. What I do sometimes when I fly Boeing and I have the TCA yoke is I uh, plug in my joystick as well, and I'll use my joystick as a nosewheel tiller while using uh, the, the, the yoke as a regular yoke. Yeah, look at that airport. Uh, yeah, yeah. Back, gotcha. France 131, clear to destination Charles de Gaulle, Vispa 1, Charles de departure, only one left, initial climb 7,000 feet, Cook 5345. For three, some four, reason, five, Pack X thinks we're diverting, yeah, I don't way. know why. <laughs> one nine left, uh, you have the Vipa departure, uh, climb 7,500 feet. I don't know why they think that. Negative, climb 7,000 feet, Cook 5345. Uh, he says make a left on, I think, Sierra. Yeah, Sierra. So far, so good. Again, this is a bit of a test to see how well uh, my current PC performs. Uh, now that I figured out what that the massive lag I was getting was, and uh, I'm not sure about you guys, but I have not seen any major stutters uh, since we started the stream. And you know, this is with Microsoft running. I got Pack X running. My, um, OBS is running all on the same machine. I don't have a streaming computer yet. Am I gonna miss this PC? Uh, most likely no. <laughs> I'm still planning on using this PC as a streaming PC, or as a server or something, but... Yeah, alright, so we're coming up to... our runway. Flight attendants prefer for takeoff. Also, if you're interested in uh, getting details on my full setup currently, uh, I have made an updated list. Uh, Nightbot actually just posted it. Uh, so you can go there and see. You know, uh, oh, there's a stutter. Here we take off from a 190F in a 16. You can see there what my setup is currently, what I'm using. I've updated that recently as of last week. And it also includes all the details of my new PC and what it's going to be. So if you're interested in that, check out the link Nightbot just posted. Alright, here we go. Check left. Left is good. Check right. Right is good. Oh, look at all the snow. Look at all the snow on the runway. This is exactly what I wanted. Alright, let me see those flexes in the chat. Flex takeoff today here out of Oslo. We got the clear to go. We'll switch the cameras up here. Ecam. Ecam is good. Cabin's ready. Land lights on. We're good to go. Flex. There it is. Flex sets. Spin it up. There's me alive. Alright, KK has got minor 0 1, ready to 55, RTVT. Uh, I can hear you fine, it's going to be an MC 0 1. 100. 160, 0, line at standby, 0 1. 120. Easy. V1. Rotate. V2. Oh, baby, let's go. Positive rate, you're up. Passing 1,200. My controls. Uh, 
Alright, lever climb. Or do you decon on 2.8, thank you for the ATC, the number 16. Okay, yeah, and the number 16, it's 1.9. Alright, we got some ice. Okay, take off, runway 1.9, Nordic 6.2.1. And Nordic 6.2.0, need to change, 1.0.0.8. Oh, look at this snow. Check 1.0.0.8. Nordic 6.2.0.8, need to change, 1.0.0.8. Alright, so he's sent us off to uh, Unicom Departure. So we're now on our own, passing 4,500 feet. I'm going to rotate my altitude selector to our cruise level. Look at these clouds. Oh my gosh. Hey, look at, look at this. Wow. Wow, wow. Because of the beautiful flyby wire, I can basically let it fly itself. It trims itself out. Following the green line, look at this view. Alright, we gotta go autopilot because I gotta enjoy this. Autopilot's on. And let's go outside. I gotta I gotta appreciate this view real quick. Oh no. <laughs> you know. Look at that gap, right? Like, come on. That was so dope. We're literally cutting through the clouds. It's so cool. So cool. Here comes 10,000 feet. We are above 7,000, which is our transition. Uh, Scandinavian 901, clear to Heathrow. Uh, Vipa 1, Charlie Departor, runway 19 and left. Climb to 7,000 and walk 5043. 1031, he's back in core, right? Alright, lane lights off, standard. Passing 10k. VNAV is doing his thing. Oh, breakout. We're gonna get so many breakouts. Seriously. I love the breakout. Love the breakout. 
Do I have a, uh, a dash cam? Look at that view. And uh, I see you guys talking in chat. You're right. I did miss some items in the e-cam. I looked at it, but I wasn't really paying attention. So thanks for bringing it up. And uh, thankfully, we're alive. So everything's okay. But all I want to say is I know it's early in the flight. I don't want to speak too soon, but like, honestly, guys, this is the first flight that I've actually been able to enjoy in a long time. If you guys have been following along, if you guys have been watching the previous streams, you know that I've been having really bad stutters and just horrible performance. And um, this is the first flight I've been able to actually enjoy in a while. Uh, we haven't had really any. We had that one stutter, that one single stutter. I'm not sure what caused it, but other than that, we have. It's been it's been smooth. I mean, again, I'm not running 120 FPS. I'm not you know running 4K or anything crazy. Uh, but when it just, it just shows you when a when a when a sim or a game runs smoothly, how much more enjoyable it is, and um. You probably can't see it on my face right now, but I'm, this is so much fun. <laughs> it is. Good morning, Eddie. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Good to see you. And and then also mix this with the really interesting weather we got here in, uh, over over Norway or Sweden. Have a multi-layer of clouds. I mean, we took off. Uh, went through a, a light, partly cloudy la layer of clouds. Came above that. You can just see, like, I don't know. It's like a whole new world up here, man. It's crazy. What did I do to fix the problem? It was my screensaver, my desktop screensaver, uh, which I had set to slideshow, changing pictures every minute, uh, was causing the stutter. Super random. I know. Never would have thought about that. But, yeah. So, basically, I turned off. Uh, the slideshow effect on my desktop background and now no more stutters thank you so much for the subscription my friend welcome aboard i hope you're doing well thanks for coming out i hope you're enjoying the flight so far sorry i missed your name and the stutters were not just for microsoft flight sim it was my whole computer it didn't matter what game i was playing it didn't matter uh what i was doing i could be on my i could be doing nothing right i could be scrolling through files and I was getting the stutters so yeah and I don't know man I don't know if it was a RAM thing because I went and I replaced my RAM and my RAM was working perfectly f it was uh the new RAM is working perfectly fine it's supposed to be slightly faster you know it's still just 16 gig 32 gigs um and then uh yeah it was just my my GPU was like lagging really hard really hard all right, passing 14.5 in the soup. Get a little bit of turbulence too. Just a little bit. I haven't got any like high level precipitation or anything like that. Uh, I wonder what the temperature is right now. Happy birthday. <laughs> well, thank you for the ha early happy birthday wishes. That. I do not have a wallpaper engine. It's just a built-in wallpaper feature. It's nothing special. Nothing special at all. I feel like my camera is just like not in the right position. There we go. Oh no. There. I gotta do something about this mic. I don't like this mic in my camera shot like this. It takes up like the whole camera. You know what I'm saying? Man, we don't have one, let's make one. Uh, you recommend adding a battery backup to my system? I did just recently buy a new uh it's not really a battery backup. It's definitely not a battery backup. But it's a new, like, hub. That's supposed to be better than my old one. 
in case you know the power goes out, stuff like that. But I don't think it's really gonna help. And here's the thing too, I agree with you, OJ. Like right now, this, in my opinion, doesn't look bad. It looks really good when it's when it's running smooth. My current PC spec, my 1080 Ti, is running pretty good in most cases. Again, I do have to turn my settings down a little bit. I'm not running max or anything like that. I'm running like medium now, but it it looks pretty good and runs pretty good. So I can't imagine, honestly, how much better it's gonna run with a new PC. I hope I don't run into any issues. I've seen people have problems before in the past where they get a new PC that's like amazing, but for whatever reason, like a game just will crash. You know what I mean? Like I'm hoping I don't have any issues like that. Oh wow, a power surge killed your Woodhawk throttle. Oh man, that is bad. And uh, yeah, I agree. A 4090 and 4K in this game will probably be nuts, ridiculous. Oh, my lights are still on. My wing lights. What up, Juan Pierre from the Netherlands? Hey, well, over the There's a sun. Man, 18,000 now, still in the clouds. Kind of cloud surfing, basically, right now. Basically cloud surfing. Now, we're in, like, you know, the higher, what do you call it, hemisphere? So, the sun doesn't really go all the way up. And that's why it's still kind of a, bit of a darker feel out here. And I think it's... Kind of like early afternoon, I believe. I had the time set to. Uh, Deuce, you have a 4080 and you do 1440p. And you have a frame gen on, and this game runs like butter. Wow. Makes landings easier when you don't have to, any frame drops. I agree. I'm looking forward to our landing today. I'm hoping that we do continue this consistency of not having FPS drops so that I can actually have a decent landing for once in the last two months uh if you remember you guys were, were you guys here last week when we uh landed in uh paris i believe or austria or wherever and on final we had a massive frame drop and almost crashed the thing oh man i was so upset so upset so upset it's 7 p.m. in uh, Finland right now. Yeah, I had the time rewinded back a while because it is dark okay, in Finland okay. right now in real life. Yeah, that lag was oh so bad. It was so bad. But hey, this is a good time to talk about it. So since we're already talking about the new PC, and I'm glad you guys are looking forward to it just like I am. Um, but as I said at the beginning of the stream, the status on the new Blue Games 2023 Mega Build <laughs> is um, is coming along. Um, I've only gotten one new part since last week, and that was my radiator and fan for the PC. Uh, I actually just ordered four more fans. I need a total of seven fans on my PC. So those will be here next week. Um, I have to get a new case now. So I had a case before that I bought on Black Friday. And as you guys know, I do have a 4090 uh, for my graphics card for this uh, PC build. And that thing is massive. I unboxed it early this week. I'm actually going to post a video of my unboxing. I might wait a little bit closer to when I do the video for the PC, but um, I did an unboxing for the 4090, and that thing is huge. I mean, it's like, I mean, you can't really see the scale on camera, but like my body is like this much. It's like about about as big as my, my chest. Uh, it's, it's massive, the 4090. 
And so the 49 doesn't fit. In the case that I bought, I bought a mid tower case, which is equal to what I currently have. I currently have a mid tower case. And the new one is at equal size, but the 49 is just too big. I can't fit it in there. Um, so like, dang it. So I went ahead and I returned that case and I went shopping for a new case. Now I'm actually glad that I returned that case because I'm getting a way cooler case now. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, sadly. Um, but it's a really cool case and has some really cool ideas for it. So, uh, matter of fact, again, like I said, I'm going to put, so, setup. I am typing setup in the chat. If you guys are curious and want to kind of follow along with me, what it looks like. Matter of fact, I could pull it up on the screen. Why not? Why freaking uh, not? I'll yes, just do that. Navi, we can look at it together. But so I'm getting a different case. It's a, a Leon Lee case. Uh, if you're really big into computers and computer building, you probably rec you probably know that brand. Um, I didn't because I'm very new to PC building or PC hardware. I, I you know I, I was I didn't know anything about this before I got started, and now I'm learning quite a lot, very fast too. It's been really fun. It's been really fun. Before we get to that, let's do flight first, right? So let me quickly show you guys where we're flying, where we are, what we're doing, and how far out we are. Um, we get the flight. Let's see. Let's get Sim Toolkit Pro. Is it up? There it is. So this is Sim Toolkit Pro. Right now, out the window is nothing but clouds. Uh, we're passing 22,000 feet. And on Sim Toolkit Pro, is showing us that we are 46 minutes away from Helsinki, uh, Finland. So we took off here out of Oslo. You can see all the the snow weather going on. Wouldn't really call it a snowstorm. It's kind of like a light snow, but it's definitely freaking cold out here uh, in the Nordics. So we took off out of uh, ENGM, out of Oslo, and we are headed, I think it's about 400, 500 miles east to Finland. So we'll hop over the water here a little bit. And we'll also have some pretty interesting weather there in Helsinki too. So I'm curious to see how weather is going to go when we get there. But yeah, about 46, 45 minutes out from Finland. And then um, we're doing decent on time. We'll see. I kind of, depending on how this flight goes, I might consider doing a second short leg up here somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to make any promises on that. But uh, yeah, that's our flight details. So if you don't know where Finland is or where Norway is, it's up here, north of Europe. Is, uh, is Finland considered Europe? I don't know. I don't know where you guys' borders are. So anyways, that's Sensuke Pro and that's our flight update as we're still climbing past 23,000 feet now. And uh, But I want to show you guys what I'm excited about here. Let me get uh, Amazon open. <laughs> and I'll show you guys what our case looks like. Finland is part of the European Union? Okay. And the same with uh, same with Sweden and Norway. Are they all a part of Europe, or is it the Scandinavia, Nordics? Okay, you guys are saying terms that I don't understand anymore. <laughs> um, okay, I got Amazon open now. Push straight to the red line, teenage one. Oh, that's the wrong monitor. That is the wrong monitor. Uh, let's look at this one. There we go. Okay, I think I got it set up. Alright, cool. So slide you guys over. Slide you guys over to my desktop. So now you're seeing what I see on my main monitor. And uh, I'm gonna slide my browser over here, so. Yeah, so, alright, so here we go. I'll make it like not massively big. So this is the link I sent you guys in the chat. This is like, this is now where I'm putting my setup details. People always ask me about this and that, so I went through and I organized it. I'm not gonna go through all of it today, but I have a page for flight sim setup. This is all of my flight sim gear and recommended flight sim gear. I have my racing setup, my train sim setup, my live stream setup, uh, and I might have a few videos in here. But so let's talk about the new PC, my 2023 gaming PC Mega build. So I'm gonna click on that, and as I said, I'm getting a Leon Lee case. The only difference from this and my actual case is I'm not getting the version with the aluminum or silver strip in the front. It's gonna be black, all black. Um, I'm actually probably gonna switch to motherboard as well 
from the Z790 Tomahawk uh, from MSI to the uh, Asus, I think it's called Prime something. Um, because this one is not available yet and it's looking like it might not be available till February, late February, if if that. I could pre-order if I wanted to, but I don't really want to. Uh, I'm also getting the Intel i9 13900, which is already here, I already have this. I also have the Zotac GeForce RTX 4090, I already have that. Uh, this one just came in, the Corsair IQ H150, this is the uh, cooler for the CPU and radiator and whatnot. Uh, these are the fans I ordered that are coming in. I have about four of them coming in. Uh, this is the rest of my setup I already have. So I already have a monitor. Uh, I'm getting the G Skill, uh, 64 gigs of RAM. The, tr the, the tricky thing about this, this is what I have not gotten yet because it's $400. If I was just getting 32 gigs, it'd only be you know, it'd only be like half of that, and I have it already. Uh, because it costs much more, I have to save up a bit more money to get there. Uh, so all I'm, all I'm, only thing left is the case, uh, the RAM, and the motherboard. And I also have, I'm doing a special, I'm gonna click on this, I'm doing a special layout of this. I'm not sure if it's gonna show it. Is it gonna show it? Okay, here we go. So it's the dynamic Evo case. I'm doing a special layout, and I think it's gonna be super dope. Let's see if it shows it in here. Oh, it doesn't show it. It doesn't show it. It doesn't show it. Okay, let me go to their website. <laughs> Alright, so Evo. And we go here. Going on, uh, pilot Marcus Carly, hello again. We are approaching your uh, control zone, recording to enter by long. Uh, Joel, the program I was using to monitor my flight was uh, Sim Toolkit Pro. It's a free program that you can use to track your flights and stuff like that. Right, so I want to show you this picture. This is the case I'm getting. This is the black one with the uh, color trim and the mesh and all that good stuff. This, this is what I'm doing. Almost exactly. I don't know what all this is in the middle. Uh, but basically, I am going to mount my GPU, like, upright. But my GPU is going to be hanging from the top of my, um, of my case. Kind of how this, so this right here, these are not fans. These are, this is a GPU. The fans is a GPU. And so what I was thinking, I was like, you know what, I, you know, you, you spend all these resources on getting this crazy good expensive GPU. Why would you hide it? Like, like, uh... Uh, yeah, like this. Like you can't uh, even see the GPU in these. It's there, right here, but you can't really see it. Uh, I was like, why would I want to hide it? Like that's like the the key part of my setup. Now this is cool too. I thought about doing this. Uh, they call this the vertical mount, where you can mount it like sideways, which looks sick. The only thing I don't like about it is that it blocks your RAM here, and it blocks like your uh, oops, it blocks your uh, your hard drive M.2 slots down here on your motherboard. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Is it makes it seems like it's harder to access, but the upright has a downside as well because you have to like you gotta like uh, put your HDMI through the case and stuff. It's kind of weird, but I think I'm committed to doing this. I've already ordered the modification for the case to mount it upright. I am gonna have uh, fans on the bottom of my case and on the top and in the back. But I'm gonna have a liquid cool here in the center and I'm gonna have the two RAM sticks. And uh, yeah, so that's a, an idea of what my setup is gonna look like. It's not gonna be gold. I mean, I can color whatever I want to co color it with the uh, lights, but it's going to look similar to what you see in this picture here. So, uh, but I really like this too. This looks sick. This one right here on the left, that looks pretty sick. So I'm, I'm considering doing that as well. Um, but I have to get another mod so that the GPU can be mounted on the side like that. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get, get it in and, and start working on it. I've never built a PC before. I know it's going to probably be challenging and I'm going to be twisting my brain around trying to figure it out. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking for. I've been learning a lot, watching a lot of videos, uh, getting a lot of advice from different people um, who have been helping me out uh, big time, big time. But uh, I'm excited. It's weird. Like I never, I've never been into PC building 
or computer parts, but lately, I ain't gonna lie, man, I've been geeking out a little bit about it. I've been geeking out about it a little bit. If you're not sure I need 64 gigabytes of RAM, if you saw what I saw the other day, when I loaded up Adobe Premiere with my 32 gigs of RAM and I used 30 of it, <laughs> I was like, you know what, I think 64 is not a bad idea. <laughs> Might not be a bad idea. But yeah, I'm balling out on it for sure. Thank you so much, Prod by Arms. Welcome to the board. Hope you're doing well. If you're just joining us, we're just talking about my new PC that I'm hoping to build. But we are currently flying in the Phoenix A320. Uh, still in the clouds, man. I thought we would have been above it by now. I really did. Uh, 4090 is going to be great for VR. Yeah, it will be for sure. I'm looking forward to using uh, the Pimax headset with uh, the 4090. Yeah, I agree. Thank you for that. That uh, those encouraging words, though. Hum, twenty-four. Uh, I'm gonna take my time. I'm not gonna rush it. Uh, when I actually do the physical building of it, and because uh, it is my first time, it is a learning experience, and I don't want to screw it up. That's the reason why I didn't build my first PC. It was because I didn't trust myself enough. I, I was like, hey, I don't want to screw. It. Like, if something goes wrong, it's my fault. I can't blame anybody else unless you know the part comes in faulty or something like that. But, but um, but I found a few good channels uh, that talk about PC parts and and you know what not to do, what to do, and things like that, and it's been very helpful. So um, yeah, man, some great creators out there. So I do plan on making a video of my own experience of making the PC and building it, and this can be pretty fun. So looking forward to it. And honestly, I feel like after I build this PC, I might want to build some more. I'm not sure who who for. <laughs> I might want to get my hands dirty a little bit more in the future. Uh, we're building, uh, building and customizing uh, some PCs because yeah, also, in preparation for building my own PC, I have been playing, and I've said this before, I've been playing PC Building Simulator. And I just found out that there is a new PC Building Simulator version 2. So like, it's called PC Building Simulator 2. And I just got that, and it, it gives you a lot more abilities, you can do a lot more things. And I've been having so much fun uh, playing it. and customizing PCs and fixing PCs and um, it's just it's a uh, yeah blue custom PCs yeah hey you know what you never know you never know I I'm not even gonna lie to you guys um, I sought out obviously through this process to learn you know how to build a PC for myself but then also in that process, I want to also learn enough about PCs that I can help my community, help my chat. Because people always come in the stream and be like, hey, what PC do you recommend for Flight Sim? What PC do you recommend for this or for that? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know. I don't know enough about that stuff. Some of you guys have probably heard me say that before. I don't know enough about that stuff. Uh, but my goal through this process is to know enough, at least just enough to be able to say, hey, if you're looking to get into, P into Microsoft Flight Sim, or an X-Plane, this is a spec I recommend, right? Um, and this is why, that's that, that's my goal. But through learning the things I need to know to do that, I've been kind of getting attached to the idea of like, hey, wouldn't it be kind of cool to customize and build PCs for people? <laughs> you know, now I might change my mind after I make my own, so we're gonna go see how that goes, because I might not like it at all. Because when I play Car Mechanic Simulator, I'm like, yeah, this is kind of fun making cars and stuff like that. But I definitely don't want to be underneath the car on jacks. Like, that's not that's not me, right? Uh, so I got to go through the process, do it, and see if it really is something that I'm interested in like I think I am. But hey, you never know. Um, I'll say this. I will say this. I met a guy. I've known him for a little while, but we've been talking a lot more. He's been helping me with my own PC build, helping me choose parts, helping me understand why I need this, why I don't need that. And uh, he's been helping me through the whole process. And honestly, if you are someone, if you're listening to me right now, watching it live or in a recording, if you're someone who's looking to build your own PC, wherever you are in the world, um, and you need help, you don't know enough about this stuff, uh, but you're looking to get a PC for Microsoft Flight Sim and for Flight Simming, hit me up and I can connect you with this guy and he can put together a list of parts that you need. And if you don't want to build it yourself, he can he possibly build it for you. I'm not gonna promise, I'm not gonna guarantee his time for you. Um, but I know that he does enjoy building PCs himself as well. So if he has time, he could probably build it for you himself and then mail it out to you. 
uh, and you don't have to worry about going through some crazy company for that. Um, so yeah, let me know if uh, hit me up on Discord, comments, wherever, and um, I definitely have a recommendation of a person who is a great uh, expert. He has a heart for the community. He loves uh, flight sim. He loves aviation, and uh, he just wants to help. And um, yeah, I can connect you guys. Uh, Croza says it's fifty nine percent cable management. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, Deuce says 99% cable management, 1% drop parts like Linus. <laughs> Reese Jet, what up, my friend? Good to see you. Welcome aboard this Finnair A320. Thanks for the subscription and welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Hope you're doing well out there. Hope you are doing well. But yeah, I'm just, you know, again, looking forward to the new PC and being able to, you know, really enjoy Flight Sim in the way that I haven't enjoyed it before. All right, we got another beep beep. From control one two one point three. Which means we must be getting pretty close to where we're going. And we're still climbing. Sheesh. Uh, we're passing thirty one point five uh, for thirty seven. I'm not sure we're gonna make it that high, to be honest. We're only twenty eight minutes out. And our top of descent is probably, yep, right after our top of climb. Yep, it is. All right, let's call them up. Control, Finnair 116, flight level 320. Finnair 116, health gate control, good evening, ready to contact uh, stop planet, flight level 350. Copy, we'll stop at flight level 350, uh, Finnair 116. Alright, that makes sense. That'll get us. That'll be good. Let me see if I can change that here to. All aboard. Here we go. And thank you so much as well, Dakota Elliott, for the subscription. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Oh, yeah. I, thank you, Deuce. I forgot to turn off anti ice. Thank you guys for the reminder. We were in the clouds for a while. Started getting used to it. Like, I'm used to this anti ice lifestyle. Uh, but yeah, for the new PC, I'm really close. As you as, as I mentioned, only a few more parts, and it really just comes down to saving money. Um, I hope I didn't go over budget, but I might have went just a little bit over budget on this one. Um, but really close, and I'm just trying to save up just a little bit longer uh, to get the final few touches for the new PC. So we're just we're so close. Just got to wait a little bit longer. But thank, I'm, the thing I'm most thankful for, though, is that my current PC, right? I, I'm, I'm, you can't see it, but I'm rubbing it right now, caressing the top of my PC. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, and um, I'm just thankful that it's, it's working smoothly right now. The last few weeks have been really frustrating. And honestly, it's kind of been pushing me even more into the new PC build uh, because I'm like, all right, well, I, I need a new PC because I like this this old one seems to be dying on me, and I don't want to be completely lost. So I was like, I you know, I'm kind of rushing, but now I kind of feel like I can, I can, you know, I can hit my stride. I don't have to rush into it. I can kind of take my time a little bit more because my current PC is actually operating as it should mostly. So. Uh, what GPU am I going with? Chat 4090, my friend. 4090. I haven't added it all up yet. I haven't added it all up. We're looking at about 5K. It was supposed to budget. The budget was 5K. For this build. Aviation A to Z. You joined back when I had 7,000 subs. Wow. How long ago was that? Welcome back, man. Good to see you. Matter of fact, guys, congratulations. We have made it. The 39, I think. Are we still 39 or did some people leave? <laughs> I think we're 39K. I don't have a, a screen up with that number on it. But um, last I checked, we were we had hit 39,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So I'm super thankful for that. Thank you, every single one of you guys, for your continued, continued support uh, for that. So, but yeah. So we will stop at 35,000 feet, as ATC told us. Our top of climb is coming up here just in a few seconds. Uh, Pack X is... I'm kind of freaking out. I'm not sure what's going on. They, they for some reason, Pack X thinks we're diverting, and we're definitely not. And I think that's why we haven't heard anything from them in quite a while. We'll do a quick public address. See what it says. Nothing. Okay. 
You're flying from the UK to Texas in the in the DHC two Beaver. Oh wow. With a thirty-five gallon ferry tank installed. That's interesting. That's a very unique flight. That's what inspired you to do that, man? Yeah, I hate him. I feel you, man. Yeah, well, get that. And if you save up. All I can say, if you're looking to upgrade your PC, you're looking to get anything, just save up. Like, I know you want it now. And that's how I feel, too. I want I want it now. <laughs> um, but I, I got to wait. I got to save my money and be smart about it, be wise about it. And uh, do your best not to buy anything on impulse now sadly most of those sales that we've been talking about for the past few weeks have ended i think they ended like today or yesterday i know like the big steam sale ended yesterday a lot of the scenery sales have ended already sadly but don't worry they're gonna come back and if you're gonna pay full price or a bunch of money on something you know obviously do your research on it make sure it's something you actually want and it's gonna be good quality uh, but also just save your money like take your time don't don't go broke um, trying to, to get something on impulse. Fruit in the Great, from 30 years of building PCs, you just want to warn me that 10% of the stuff doesn't work out of the box. Uh, you buy 10 parts and don't have to return one, you're very lucky. Oh, man. Ah. <laughs> Good to know. Thank you, man. So, I'm going to do my best to make sure everything gets put together correctly. Uh, but if it doesn't work, may have to return something and get a replacement so thanks for the warning and the heads up so I'll definitely kind of keep that in the back of my brain so yeah uh, strain toast you're on final into NASA you know, Bahamas six, uh, you are correct for the local date Bravo arrival for runway 04 left when ready to send to flight level 100 down to flight level 100 for uh, runway 04 left 5316 Six, yes, and that descent is at your discretion. Happy to send at my discretion, Funeral 16. Yeah, I kind of have the sound boosted. Maybe a little bit too much. I could barely hear him, but he did say to descend my discretion down to, I think he said, 1 1000. Uh, top of sense coming up in about 60 miles exactly. So I'm going to wait till we get there, and we'll pop the top of the sin in. Uh, it is already asking me for my destination data, so I'm going to do it on my right, MCDU. And we can go over here to the weather. Go to arrival, it's retrieving our METAR. Let's see if the ATIS works. Oh, look at that! It does work. Helsinki, arrival and departure information, Mike. Uh, expect ILS approach runway it 04 left. left. What did I have uh, planned for? Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we were planning on doing. Uh, what plane am I flying, and is it available on Xbox? This is the Phoenix A320, and sadly, no, it's not available on Xbox. I hate saying that. I really do hate saying that, but it is. Uh, all right, so weather is... Yeah, Eyeless Approach, Arrival, Runway 04, Left, Departure, Runway 04, Right, Transition, Level 6000, Winds are 050 degrees at 8 knots, Visibility is 10 kilometers, Light Snow, mm-hmm. Broken at 3,400 feet. Temperature is negative 8. Dew point negative 12. QNH is 1027. And temporary visibility 7 kilometers advised on initial contact. You have information. Mike, 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 Mike. Cool. So we go ahead and put this information into our MCU. So we'll start off with the altimeter, which is 1027. 1027. Uh, Crozer, you got a new airport in the UK. You just felt like doing it to check out Iceland and Greenland. It was good views. Oh man, it is great flying out there in Iceland and Greenland area. I love flying that area. Uh, Deuce, you bought your 4080 on Impulse and never looked back. Hey. <laughs> Sometimes Impulse is not a bad thing. I should try 4X, easy money while flying. Hey, I'm open to. I'm open. I'm always open to more money making opportunities. Are there any planes available on Xbox? Yes. You have to go on go on your Xbox and go to the marketplace. Yeah, whatever is there is what's available. Uh, basically, you go on the marketplace, you buy or 
yeah, most of them are pay where I don't think there are any arrival, free uh, planes just ready. yet. But you go in there, you buy it, and it downloads it, and then you fly it. That's it. Easy. Like Forza. Uh, what am I missing? What's next? Temperature. Temperature negative eight. So minus eight. And wind. Wind is. Wind is. Wind is. Wind is. Wind is. Wind is. Uh, transition, I think he said was 6,000, so we'll Rana 2858, is there any for taxes? Rana 2858, taxi on line up runway 24 via Delta on backtrack. Here we go. Taxi holding point and I think that's all we need. Up runway 24 and backtrack runway 24. Right, now we need the uh, chart, I'm going to pull the chart up here on my second screen. Finna 7 November Papa 1, ready direct to waypoint Memphis, November Echo Mike Victor India. Uh, chart, chart, chart. So, zero. F oh, I gotta MV. put the runway in here. Uh, gotta put the runway in here. I'll leave you guys on this view for a little bit while I'm looking for this. Uh, are X Plan 12 graphics really that much better than 11? Hmm, that's a debatable one. Better? Yes. Yes, it is better. Look at traffic off our right wing. That's real traffic. I don't have AI turned on, so that's a person flying by us. Uh, actually, I'm leaving an outside view. The sun is setting. Traffic's flying by. Yes, it is better. Is it that much better? No. But is it better? Yes. <laughs> Would I recommend x Plane 12 over 11? Yes. Is it still buggy? Yes. Is it missing features? Yes. <laughs> um, I, I had got my X Plane 11 to a point that I really liked it. And then 12, 12 came out, and I was like, this is not really what I'm looking for. But um, I have been doing some test flights on X Plane 12. I do want to do an X Plane 12 flight. It'll take a little bit more time for me to get it fine tuned, but. It's um, it's it's working. I want to fly the MD11. I want to fly the, the Dash 8. I want to fly the Challenger at some point. Zero, taxi straight ahead on Alpha Delta. Turn left on Zulu. Continue to Zulu Sierra. Hold short here for right. Taxi straight ahead Alpha Delta. Oh yes, and of course the A330. The only problem I have with the A330 right now on X plane is that it does not have. A realistic MCDU. It has a Boeing FMS in it. Uh, let's go inside for a second. I have my decision height, which is 334. There we go. All right, destination data is input. And here comes the top of the scent. And just a few miles, uh, about 15. Uh, no, no sunglasses today. I was going to wear them. I usually wear them on Fridays, but the reason I didn't was because when we were in, uh, where did we take off from? In Oslo, it was like overcast and dark, and I couldn't see anything with my glasses on, or my shades on, so I, t I didn't wear them, so I'm not wearing them today. Trans 0709, you're about to leave my airspace. There is now ATC over Sweden. Monitor Unicom 122, this Goodbye. Captain Kevin, what's up, my friend? Good to see you. Welcome back. You picked a good stream. Goodbye. I'm feeling good today. I'm no longer sick. My computer's not sick anymore. We're not getting bad performance and bad stutters. We'll see when we land if it stays that way. Hopefully it does. Um, but it's, it's been a, I've been enjoying this flight. This is exactly what I wanted. I want a chill flight from A to B. No major issues. No major problems. So hopefully we can keep that streak going all the way to Helsinki, Finland. But so far, I've been pretty good, man. Good conversation, good questions as well. Uh, would I recommend you buying a PC from iBuyPower? I don't know, Randy. I uh, I don't know enough about iBuyPower to recommend anything from them. So uh, maybe add a chat. Straight to final runway, left via waypoint podium. 
Papa Oscar Delta Oscar Mike. Oscar Mike. Uh, direct to final for zero four left. And can you repeat that waypoint for Fina one one six? Fina one one six. The waypoint is Podum, Papa Oscar, Delta Oscar, Mike. Copy over to Podum. Uh, on the approach for zero four left, Fina one one six. Right, that should be here in my list of waypoints. That's a massive shortcut he gave us. Massive shortcut. So we should be descending now. I'm gonna start descending now. We basically, I've never gotten that command before. He cleared us from cruise to the first waypoint. I will drag the first waypoint on our approach. I have never got that. that I never got that before. Fina 4 Whiskey, you are glad to destination Helsinki runway 34 for departure. We have to goop to 1 Bravo, departure route. Head straight up to 51310. Squawk 0254. From uh, 34 clear to Helsinki, goop to 1 Bravo, departure. <laughs> uh, failures I don't think are turned off. I think you have to activate them in this plane, though. I don't think they Fina just ran away. Fina 4 Whiskey, back was correct. Go for push and start. Roger. There's a Discord group that made an A330-900 mod with an Airbus FMC. Really? Huh. Didn't know that. Uh, Deuce Legend says, he uh, I power is okay, but you recommend NZXT build instead. Uh, Rune Great says, you bought a great PC from a, co a company called Yin. I think that's who made my... Yeah, that's the company that made, that uh, distributes my, uh, my current monitor. Uh, cheaper than building it yourself. It's actually surprising that you can get a PC built cheaper than you could build it yourself. It usually, people say it's cheaper to build it yourself than buy a pre -build. Climb level 380, Rana 2858. That sounds pretty good, guys. It really does. Xworks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. I have. I like Xworks. <clears throat> I um. I have their 330, but the 330 is Which I love. I think it sounds Four great. Startup is approved. The call for taxi. Startup approved. Fin out of whiskey. Um, this is the only thing stopping me. Okay, no, two things. Two things stopping me from really flying and enjoying the A330-900 NEO. Is, one, no FMS for Airbus. But if there's a mod, I could try that. The other thing, though, is that the autopilot is unpredictable. Um, have, check this out. I have a video <laughs> online already of me flying the A330 NEO. And just watch it. Watch it to the end. There's a surprise at the end. And uh, you'll see my personal experience with the 330 and why I'm not flying it until they fix it. So, and it's not fixed, from what I understand. Okay, the trip, Papa Victor, that's approved. Uh, long road is approved. Gotcha, Can dudes. Three, yeah. But yeah, I mean, what would it take to build a PC company? Like, could I make my own PC company? And like, you know, I don't know. Just throwing ideas out there. <laughs> like, what would it take? What do I need to do? I want to be like, hey, I make I make you a PC now, either pre-built or custom or whichever. I might look into that. We'll see. I'm like the entrepreneur type. I like starting and you know, and, you know, do businesses. Not just starting. I want to start and build new businesses. All right, we don't need speed brakes anymore, so we're bringing the speed brakes back. So he said clear to the first waypoint. Uh, what is the altitude of that first waypoint? 3,000. So I'm going to go all the way down to 3,000 feet. That's the thing I wonder about. Like, what, how do you do the... Like, how do I get wholesale pricing on parts? I don't want to pay full price for parts if I'm going to be a... If I'm going to be a PC building company, you should be able to get, you know, wholesale parts. Like, parts... Or like marked down, then you obviously, you know, resell it at you know recommended retail price or whatever. Uh, and honestly, if I do that, and you know, we're we're I don't know why we're talking about this, but we're brainstorming basically. If I do that, the idea it would be is to be able to make PCs specifically 
for flight simmers and for people if they even train simmers people who do train sims and the games that i play racing sims and basically like simulators in general because i feel like we need a specific type of machine and this is something people need to understand is that a lot of these companies out here who build pcs including the, P the company that built mine the original company that built my pcs i'm using right now is called main gear and i've had a great experience with this company but they have little to no experience working with people who need computers for flight simulation and what happens is these companies will be like all right what do you need your pc built for i need it for microsoft flight sim so they'll go online and they'll go search microsoft flight sim because they don't play it themselves and they'll find out what the recommended spec is and what the minimum spec is now i don't know if anybody out there is playing microsoft flight sim on the recommended spec but it's unplayable and if you're playing on the minimum spec it's really unplayable I, i'm talking about you're not seeing any of this going on um and so they'll build you a pc or try to sell you a pc that's definitely not going to be up to par to what you're looking for and so you need to find a company that knows what you need and what's going to work well what's going to give you a nice enjoyable smooth experience in the game of your choice uh, and there are companies that exist like that already. Um, but if I were to go into this into this avenue, this business venture, um, that would be kind of my idea. Would be going be like, hey, I'm gonna build PCs specifically for simmers, for simmers, for flight simmers, for racing simmers, for uh, train simmers. The people I know, the games that I play, I understand. And um, honestly, if your sim, sorry, if your PC can run flight sims smoothly, you can probably run everything else on Ultra. <laughs> not even kidding you can probably run fortnite on ultra you can run uh call of duty on ultra all those other mainstream games can probably be run at no problem if you have a pc that can run microsoft flight sim or x plane smoothly so um i don't know why people don't use microsoft flight sim as a benchmark they should they should <clears throat> also, there's one company uh, that I'm not going to name them. They tried to sell me or tried to sell a, a flight sim ready PC with only, was it 250 gigabytes of, of space? I'm like, bro, like that's, you could, like, maybe for a flight school, right? That That's literally the only thing on that computer is Microsoft flight sims. Like my Microsoft flight sim, I, I got to look. I think my Microsoft flight sim with all my community mods takes up at least about 300 gigabytes of space. And it's something people need to know if you haven't gotten a PC yet um, or you're looking to get in the PC flight simming. You're going to use a lot of freaking space on stuff, on mods and things like that. And so I have a lot of space taken up by Microsoft flight sim. 300 gigs, I think, of space. So if you're going to go and like, oh, good. My, my, yeah, <laughs> my freaking train sim, which is stupid. My train sim is about 200 gigabytes. I know, I know you guys probably don't understand because we don't have a train sim audience watching right now. But my train sim world three, and I have like most of the DLC, is taking up about 200 gigabytes of, of space on my hard drive right now. Crazy, 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 crazy. Anyways, <laughs> anyways. Um, Uh, Brian, I like that idea as well, and I've been looking at opportunities in that direction as well. Just have not run into something uh, that makes sense yet, but um, I have definitely, Brian Officer, been looking into that. Um, there was one company I was going to work with, and it sadly did not work out. This month, myself and one of the chief pilots is starting a program to implement precision GPS approaches for my airline. LPV and RNPAR approaches, leaving my mark on the company. Bro, that is legendary. I hope you guys heard all of that because I can't read it all back because I don't even understand what all. I'm ready to send five thousand eight Hilton QNH one zero two seven and reduce speed to two three zero knots or less. Your number two for approach. All right, down to five thousand and down to two three zero knots. Uh, Finnair 116. Alright, so down to 5,000 feet. Hold on, I got you wrong side. I got you, bro. You know how it, you know how it is. You know how it is. 
Let's put some speed brakes out, get our speed down. We're number four, I think, or number three. Our approach on a 5K. Sun is setting on us, which is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so planes under control. Wrong side, bro. What you said. Apparently, so for you guys who didn't hear, wrong side simulations. He is uh, a real life airline dispatcher for an unknown airline. But it sounds like they have uh, brought him on to a project that's going to incorporate. Let me see if I can read it again. Where is. Or is YouTube? <laughs> uh, show. Can I not see it? Can I not relook at it? YouTube, can I look? Can I look at it again? No. I can't see it. All right, well, anyways, they brought them onto a pretty big project. It's gonna include like some type of uh, precision GPS uh, approaches and things like that for the entire airline. This is a major airline we're talking about. So you know, the fact. Uh, down to two one zero knots, Finnair one six. All right, we definitely want to slow down because we do not want to have to be vectored or do a like a turn or something. So since we're so slow, we're gonna drop. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be okay without flaps at this speed. We'll try. But uh, anyway, per pur purposes. Congrats, man. Congrats, man. That's a big deal. Being a part of a uh, a project where you're like literally making. A mark in the entire company like pilots in the company going forward will always be different because of what you're working on that's that's pretty amazing that's i'm so proud of you man i'm so proud to know you homie. really am you get to meet some pretty cool and amazing people in our flight and community and, um, Continue by up. You are to one of them. To April eight for the icing. Call you back about your the icing bay. Your Microsoft flight sim is nine hundred and sixty okay, gigabytes. Why? Hey, 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 hey! You call no, 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 no at all of that. One one six turn right heading one one zero for traffic. Uh, over to uh one one zero for traffic. That left or right? Where, where am I going? One six, you better descend three thousand three hundred feet now. Right, I right, down on three thousand three hundred feet. You know, one six. All right, make a right one one zero. I don't see the traffic, but apparently he's in front of us. So I'm actually manually turning us to one one zero, and descending. Autopilot back on. Beautiful. All right, so we're doing one one zero for uh, spacing. And for traffic, speed set two one zero. Oh no 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 no! What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? This way, this way, buddy. Thank you. All right, we got it. And down to three thousand three hundred. Finish seven November Papa fly direct Nimby now. All right, we got it under control. We're all right. Land lights are on. Seven November Papa turn We're right good. heading two zero zero. We are good. Uh, LPV and RNAV E approaches. It's your second special dispatch manager project along with handling delivery flights from the factor. Only problem is I'm too busy to stream. You know? Hey. Stream when you can, man. When you can, you know. I, I get it. Mike Charlie direct I get it. For ILS, for left. Uh, what is my Volanta? I think it's just blue. I literally think it's just BLU on Volanta. I'm not on it right now. Um, but that is my username on Volanta. But what happened was um, I was slowing down to 210 knots, which is right above like the slowest speed we can go without flaps, apparently. And Autopilot kicked off to save us from stalling. And, uh, and that's why you saw it bounce up and down like that. That is why. Uh, also, so another thing I wanted to talk about today is racing. Uh, so if you guys have been watching XP72 and Leo, you know that I've been joining them. Uh, Ani, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Railway family. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, you'll know that I've been there. I've been joining them in most of their uh, racing streams, driving around, racing, cruising. And uh, you guys know, if you're not new to the channel, you know that I am a huge racing fan i love nascar i love formula one i love gt racing i love everything motorsport and uh, i'm a big fan so i've been i've been playing racing like, I, I never stopped racing i haven't streamed or done much content for racing or driving in a while 
but I have never stopped driving. I still play iRacing regularly, um, like at least a few races a week. Um, I do have a sense of Corsa, and I play Forza as well, Forza Horizon a lot, a lot as well. So the point is, um, I'm considering doing some flight sim streams, sorry, racing sim streams, uh, or racing videos in the near future. Um, either alone by myself or with uh, XP and Leo in, in the future. So I'm curious to know what you guys feel about that. Would you be interested in watching that, in joining that? Uh, do you not care about racing at all? Uh, what type of racing are you interested in? Just kind of see if this is something that my channel, my audience will be even interested in. Or should I just keep this passion to myself like I've been for a while? Because <laughs> uh, basically what it is, is, like most people in my flight sim and train sim streams don't care much about racing. And so I just keep it to myself. I'm like, all right, well, you guys don't care about it. I care about it. I'm just going to do my own thing. And then if you guys like it, just come on Discord. We can ride together, right? Um, but you know me. If I like doing it, I like streaming it. Look at that beautiful sunset over there. That is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you've been into F1 for three years? Oh, yeah. Love it. MD10 says, let's race. Yes, I have seen the news about Andretti and Cadillac. Matter of fact, there's a video I have set to my watch later <laughs> um, that I need to watch to get all the details on that. I haven't looked into it, but I'm definitely all for having more. 190 or less, Fina 16. Um, but I'm all for having more, more uh, manufacturers and companies racing in Formula 1. I'm all for that. All for that. Yeah, that's basically all you can do. Stream it, see how it goes. Um, post a video, see how it goes. If people watch it, then they watch it. If they don't watch it, then they don't watch it. All right, what's our weather again? Copy, we'll expect to localize from the right-hand side. Uh, you know, one six. Uh, what's our d d d 1027? Probably too low. Fina 116, uh, descent 2300 feet. Turn uh, left now, heading 010. Clear dialysis approach, runway 04 left, number 2. Uh, is that left 010 for Fina 116? Fina 116, that's correct. And down to 2000, Fina 116. 2,300. 2,300. You know. All right, left zero one zero. He had us uh, kind of vectored off for some spacing. Get those speed brakes back in. That's what it's beeping about. The barrel discrepancy will fix that once I get on the right heading. And there's zero one zero twenty three hundred. Uh, let's go ahead and start descending for that now. Click on our vertical speed knob, and we'll do about 1,000 feet per minute. Let's get the other Q and H in sync at 1027. That's the local weather. Uh, let's see if there's any tower that we need to expect so that we can kind of be ahead of this thing. And yes, 18.6. One thing I always hate is um, not being ready for the contact tower, you know, request, and I don't have the frequency ready. There's an airport right there at our uh, one o'clock. All right, let's get some flight control replay running in the background. That's great to hear, huh? We love trains, planes, cars, and trucks. That's literally me. That's literally my gaming personality. <laughs> one one six speed one seven zero or less. One seven zero or less. Right at two eight five eight. Tallinn control is not online tonight. So you message the Unicorn one two two this late. Have a nice flight to Italy. Welcome back. Goodbye. Right. One seven zero. We're gonna have us a sunset arrival in the Finland. Thank you. Thank you for your agency services. Goodbye. So let's get prepared for landing, Goodbye. guys. He's coming back. Here comes our second notch of flaps. Get the cameras ready. Lights, camera, action. And let's see. So again, if you guys are interested in seeing the whole setup for Flight Sim or for my PC, uh, you can type in FMH Mark setup 
Now in chat. Sorry about that. Right, 070, the intercept, ILS 04 left. Yeah, I didn't hit approach mode, that's my fault. We flew through it. Flew through it, wasn't paying attention. Thankfully, we're still below the ILS. We're about nine miles out, by the way. We're pretty close. Tonight, Mike. Charlie, you are clear to 2,300 feet. Help stick you on H1027. Um, but yeah, I was saying that if you're interested in the setup, you can uh, go there for all the details. Um, but also, I have links in the description for that. Charlie, 2,300 uh, As well as, you want to get 15% off uh, the Thrustmaster stuff, you can check that link out as well with my discount code. All right, let's land the plane. Boom, boom, that looks good. Flat right, 10s, prepare for landing. Alright, flaps full. Approach mode on. Signal one, Yankee Alpha, we'll push and start. Contact tell the guitar, 118. Decimal 6, bye bye. We're 7 miles out. Contact tell you, 116. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that's not the right one. There we go. There it is. We have captured the localizer. It's now going to point us towards the runway. And we also caught the glide slope. It's going to fly us to the runway. And we are five and a half miles out. Yeah. Up right at medium. Zero for left. Currently number three. Three thousand three hundred feet, and after that, we turn the board off here at the runway. Alright, it's armless spoilers. Unit one zero seven. Unit one one six confirm established on the ILS. Fully established ILS zero four left. Unit one one six. Unit one one six. Thank you. Contact tower one one eight decimal six. Goodbye. One eight decimal six. Thanks for the help. Uh, Unit one one six. Tower, Finner 16 on the LS04 left. Finner 116 on the power duty and wind 06 degrees. 1000. The land 04 left, Finner 16. I don't know what he said. No idea what he just said. But we landed the plane now. Let's get my charts ready for yeah, landing. Uh, Alright, we exit to the right. Gotcha. Alright, let's do it. from the zero four right. We'll do it right now. Four two eight two. And fire aircraft. Uh, so we are two five knots per uh, with like take full length. We are a bit heavy now. Or if it's been at 2,000 or via the Look at all this snow. Taxi holding for the Sierra Vatulu, being at the front of the 200. Been at 116. Take a minimum. Tower to 77 on the Papa on the mic. Flight slow. Flight slow. 16 from 6 land runway 04 left. 15. 04 left, you know what I'm saying? 30. 20, retard. 10, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, Make the first exit. Definitely a bit firm, but we put it in the touchdown zone and on the line, so I'm happy about that. Watch the replay back and see to confirm it. And we made the first exit. That's very rare that I make the first exit.
And we're gonna stop here at the be clear at Whiskey Sierra. Yeah, one one six, welcome Dallas and get taxi back to Whiskey. Right, go, four turn, Papa go. All right, we'll taxi the ramp. Uh, left on Whiskey, right golf. Uh, one one six. Yeah, one one six, just confirm it's uh, left Whiskey, right golf, and that's the whole trip, Papa go. Left whiskey, right golf, hold short, pop a golf at uh, four right. Been one six. Bro, these taxiways look like runways when they're covered with snow. But I'm confirming here on my chart that we are indeed on the taxiway. We have traffic ahead of us. Is he coming this way? No, he's facing the other way. Alright, cool. We made it. We made it. Flaps up. Welcome to Helsinki, Finland. Hope you guys enjoy the flights. Finnair 2 for... Finnair 2 for Kilo... Radio check. There we go. Uh, we'll see what our landing rate was there. It was, yeah, about right. 381 from Central Good Pro is what they gave us. I knew it was a bit firm based on how fast the numbers were going down. It says 50, 40, 30, <laughs> all of that. I was like, it's going to be a bit firm. We're coming in a little hard. But I'll take it. I ain't mad at it. Honestly, I'm happy to have a, a, a smooth FPS landing. That, I, that's what I'm more cared about than um, the physical touchdown itself. So, yeah, honestly, it's been a smooth flight. What do you guys think? Let me know in the chat how it's been on your end on YouTube, on Twitch. Uh, if you've been watching the last few weeks, you know this is a major improvement uh, from what I have been experiencing in the last few weeks to a month. Uh, with major stutters happening throughout the flight on landing and stuff like that and I really enjoyed this flight I really did another fin air another fin over there on our right like, I don't have AI traffic turned on today usually I do but I turned it off so I could gain a few FPS Right, where are we parking today, guys? Where are we parking today? Where are we parking today? I think Finn Air Parks on the uh, west side, I believe. What's up, my friend Cody Bach from Knoxville, Tennessee? Welcome aboard. I hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed the flight. And if you just got here, welcome aboard. Good to see you. We just landed in Helsinki, Finland, in the Phoenix A320. It's nice and snowy. It is, man. It's such. Oh. It's so nice not being stuttering. Oh, those land lines are still on. Turn those off. Oh, we got another beep. It's by ground on or something? Oh no, that's a person. Much better than Ryanair. Thank you, Bo. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, again, guys, we'll be watching the replay here in a little bit once we get to the ramp. Uh, using flight control okay, replay on V5. Alright, so we'll be holding short here at Papa Golf. Charlie, how's the tower? Good evening. Uh, wind is 0, 6, 0 degrees, 8 knots, 22, 0, 4 left, clear. And we're down our tow brakes here and slowly come yeah, to a nice December, wind 0, 6, 0 degrees, 8 knots, smooth stop right before the line. Brakes for a second. And expecting for him to give us a taxi clearance to the gates. And still trying to get my gate chart so I can find out where it is we might be parking today.
Uh, Canada, one uh, is uh, flight sim recorder 5 worth the upgrade? You're still using 4.5? Yeah, I think so. Uh, version 5 is constantly being updated and up and fixed with like uh, support for Phoenix, support for the helicopter, stuff like that. So I definitely think it's worth it. Oh, look, traffic! Crush my zero for right to continue taxi left to the right alpha delta stand one. Stand one. Uh, man, I keep missing those instructions. I'm sorry, I missed that. So cross zero for right, and then what was the instruction? Left to the right alpha delta stand one six. All right, cross for right, left Zulu, uh, then Alpha Delta, stand one six, number one six, thanks. And for people who are new to, to VETSIM, don't feel ashamed to ask them to repeat themselves. They might sound annoyed, because they probably are. <laughs> uh, but hey, if you don't, it's better you ask again than to just do something completely wrong. And they get upset. So we go across here. Uh, Zulu's going to be on the other side of his runaway. And then he said to go via Alpha, Del Alpha Delta or something somewhere. Wherever that's at. I'll find it here in a second. Yeah, two for killer. Clearance. Escape, welcome Can back, man. Hope you're doing well. Information, Mike. Happy New Year to you. Welcome aboard. But yeah, I'm glad you guys are excited um, and down for the racing stuff because again, it's I've talked about it before, and racing is like my second passion. Like, flight sim is here, and racing is like just right here, like just underneath, like like just underneath. Sometimes they're like like this. <laughs> um, but I absolutely love racing, and um, and I would love to, to share that passion as well on the channel. Um, we gotta find this parking okay, spot. Okay, Kilo, you're cleared to destination on a zero four right. Oh, okay, I know where we're going. For Charlie departure, initial I time for us. Okay, I see where we're going. Four, I see where we're going. One, Alpha one. Delta is should be like right here. Get to get to that with, uh, this is the second challenge, guys. So departure. flying is just only a part of the challenge. Squawk, the next six, part of the challenge six, one, uh, is finding four, the, four, speed, you know, the game. Kilo. What's up, my friend Frost? From New Zealand, what are you doing away? Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Jet flight one one uh, clear and clear. Hope you're doing really good. Uh, All right. How about we do a single engine taxi? I'm gonna shut off the right engine. Jet flight one one, you ready to copy it? We're going straight from here. There from go ahead. Jet flight one one. Jet flight one one, you're clear to Riga. You're going right there for right. Goebel for Charlie. Right, this is Alpha Delta. Initial climb four thousand feet. There is the famous, I don't say famous, but you know, if you're from the region, it's a famous looking uh, terminal. I'm doing pretty good, Frost. I am doing pretty good, man. I am too blessed to be stressed, my friend. Too blessed to be stressed. So whenever you have a single engine uh, taxi, when you give power, the plane is going to want to push to the right. Watch this. Yeah, I'm not turning it. It does that on its own. Took a while to spin up. Finally got there. All right, we got to find uh, one six. Let's see if GSX can meet us there. Uh, no. Uh, we use Finnick. Where's the Romeo? Fin yeah, Finnick. Let's say 17? Yep, there's our parking spot. And the crew is ready. Lights off. Let's bring it in. 
No, I left the electric pump off because I wanted to hear this. Parking dog. I, I think if you turn off the electric pump, you won't hear that anymore. Yeah, one Yankee Alpha open to zero six zero degrees eight knots from eight zero four right step take off one airborne contact health if you control one two one decimal three have a good flight. Alright, see if we can get a good parking. Yes, I take off from zero four right and with airborne contact health control one two one decimal three text bye bye. My marshaller. I was on the side. Weird. Yeah, I think this parking spot is not set up correctly in GSX. Because they want me to go way over there. And that's not the right spot. So we're gonna... Oh, look at that. I was on the line already. On my own. I think that's far enough. Where'd the gate go? Oh, it's right there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Helsinki. Stand by just a couple minutes for the replay. And the right engine's already off. We'll shut the left engine off. Uh oh, there's some stutters. Welcome back. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a really special shutdown sound. Oh, you know what we forgot? Freaking APU. Because it's going to die. Yep, there it is. It died on us. <laughs> I forgot the APU. Uh, we lost everything. We lost everything. Uh, Cameron Evans, how did I fix the stutters? All I did was I turned off my desktop wallpaper slice show. That's what was causing my issue, right? That's crazy. I don't know when to know when that's going to work. Thank you, Papa Delta. Welcome to Helsinki. Taxi, welcome home. Hi, we've arrived. No, uh, just... Can you repeat, Papa? Right, there goes the AZ power. You guys are waiting for it, too. Can you notice I didn't turn AP on? I forgot. I was planning on doing it. I've been trying to do it a bit more economically, where you don't just turn it on when you land, but you turn it on and try to time it to when you arrive to the gate, so that way you don't waste a bunch of APU fuel, uh, you know, taxiing for 30 minutes. So that's what I was trying to do, but then I completely forgot to turn it on and I turned the engine off and then there you go. And then you have that. So we're good though. I'm just gonna get the APU started and we're gonna go straight to the replay. Uh has some pretty good ATC on the way here. Uh we're not gonna have to worry about deboarding or nothing like that. There is APU is now avail, now we have power. Now we have power. Alright, I'm going in the uh flight control replay recording and also we are going to um, the double check this seems to get pro log by flight. So again, our landing rate was 381, which is a bit higher, about 100 and 50 higher than I would like to be. But um, again, I have a whole different satisfaction today. This is my first time flying a stutter-free flight, and uh, and that's where I'm really getting my enjoyment. But Definitely gonna get those landings, the land rating, landing ratings back down where they should be. Now that we have no more excuses. <laughs> okay. Man, my PC temp, my GPU temp is only fifty-five. What? That's surprising. That's really surprising. My uh, GPU's been overheating um, recently, and I thought that it'd be like eighties. But it's doing pretty good. Nice. Right, get that off. Let's jump on the replay and see how we do. Scaper, you will not see me after the 13th because you're leaving for the Navy. Oh, man. Doesn't the Navy have internet? <laughs> we could talk still on Discord or whatever. Um, hey, man, I'm definitely wishing you the best of luck. I'll definitely be praying for you, man, out there. Um, I'm not sure what you're going to do out there. But uh, I know Kareem, if you're going to the Navy, oh, it ain't going to be easy. So, wish you the best out there, man. Be the best to you you can be. And we are in our replay. Let's play it. 
this is right after we kind of like went wide. I'm gonna fast forward here. Somebody asked earlier, was Flight Control Replay V5 worth the upgrade? And I just remembered, that there's like a discounted upgrade fee. Like, you don't have to pay full full price for it. So make sure you don't pay full price for it if you do decide to upgrade. Uh, or else you're getting, you're definitely losing some money. Uh, where is it at? Alright, let's fast forward it and get close to the good part. Alright, so gear's coming down. <laughs> New boy says, if I was Ryanair, I'd be sacked for a soft landing like that. Ah, oh, you guys are so hard on Ryanair. What do y'all hate them so much? <laughs> Here's my question for all of you out there. Who uh, you know talk? I'll say bad, but you know all of I, I'm I'm one of them. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm one of them. Uh, for all of us out there who who uh, who meme Ryanair, if you when when and if you become a pilot and Ryanair, if they offered you a job to work for their company, would you go work for Ryanair? Right, go ahead and just send your answer in the chat. I'm curious. El Bad Pino, what's up, my friend? Thank you, my friend, so much. Messi, Buku. Bonjour, ça va. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing we're doing good as well. Welcome back. It's good to see you, bro. Long time no see. Welcome back. All right. I am going to shut up for this landing for a bit. Enjoy the view, guys. And thanks for flying with us on thin air. Hey. Money is money. I would do it. Yeah, man. There it is. Let's see how we did here. You can barely see the piano keys. And yep, firm just as I thought, but right on the freaking center line and in the touchdown zone. I'm in there. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. It wasn't butter. It wasn't butter, but I'll take that. I'll take that 100%. Oh, yes. That, that's some get in there Lewis landing right there. That's like, yeah, I'm all about that. I rewind and time for some beautiful wing view action. All day, every day, get some. I do remember that. We had a, a bit of a wind shear right before landing that I had to fight. I remember that. Let's do some video magic real quick. Do some video magic. And uh, change the time. There it is. That's the shot right there. And play. Yeah, now that the stutters are gone, the replay is much smoother. Alright, one more time for the wing view from the other side. From behind the wing. And my speed brakes won't go down for some reason the replay, but it's okay. Okay, now they're down. Yeah, wasn't butter, but I'll take it. Oh yeah. Butter is not always a goal. DHL over there, warehouse. I do wish I had put the nose gear down a bit softer. I 
are we missing this this one right here? Isn't that what's supposed to come up? This was margarine, yep. Come on, deuce. All you know all we do around here is produce margarine. <laughs> That's all we do, bro. Come on. You know this by now. You know this. Where's it? Where's it? The airport? Where is it? Oh, wait. I restarted the whole thing. Too low. Terrain. Ah, I see. Apparently. F is some kind of like quick command. Shut up. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Shut up. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Now watch replay. Three hundred. I, I love this view. Those massive mounds of snow. <laughs> 200 100 shenanigans yeah 50 40 30 20 retard 5 it says 25 you don't want to hear that you know you're coming in hot, coming in hot Hey, I know I ain't got a 3080, but we're definitely not rocking 10 FPS. You got a lot to stop all that, dudes. You ain't, you ain't gonna talk about my PC. You better add some respect on that name. It was 10 FPS last week, but not today. This is like literally the first time in a while I've been able to actually enjoy a replay. Oh, my rat is out. Yeah, we came in a little slow actually. That's why we slammed it. All right, guys. One more time for the culture. In chat, drop me a line. Let me know where you're watching from. And I'll give you guys a shout out. I'll watch the replay one last time. Just want to say thank you guys so much for coming out and hanging out with your boy Blue today. It's been fun. It's been smooth, actually. Really enjoyed it. I, again, I can't say it enough. Thank you. This is actually one of the first flights I've actually enjoyed in a while. Uh, now that I got rid of the stutter. Good stuff. So, see you soon. More train sim content. More flight sim content. Eventually, some racing streams and racing content. We are... Uh, considering starting a racing, uh, like a flight simmers racing league, doing a, a short series and cruise around with XP and Leo sticks. So expect to see that pretty soon in the near future, like a few weeks or so. I'm going to continue working on my PC build while playing PC building simulator. There's some pretty good DLCs coming out for Train Sim World 3 soon. Sim Rail. Also, the full release coming out. Oh, look at that view right there. Look at that view. That's sick. All right, I gotta watch it one more time. I lied. You, you know I'll be lying on the replay. I'm gonna watch it one more time. One more time. One more again. Lots of fun stuff coming to the channel. I'm really excited to share my passions and experience with you guys when able. Blue Experience is not over. It is coming back as well as soon as possible, actually. Working on that too in the background. Flight Sim Expo coming up in June. I will be there. Definitely come out and see me. Come out and see all the different developers who come out there. 
Thank you, Frost from New Zealand, the human or Hume24 Hotel from the UK, Cameron Evans from Canada, Net Zero Flyer from Germany, Dorian Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh man, living in nice over there. Shelton from Fort Lauderdale, William McDonald representing uh, California. Sorry, uh, Micah from Southwest Minnesota, Plain Dude, and James ATX, my homies. The Texas family watch from Dallas and Austin. Good to see you guys. There's a good, some really good Austin scenery now from Microsoft Flight Sim, by the way. If you didn't know, now you know. Marty Mar, what's up from Vegas? Good to see you. Escaper from Hot Atlanta. FS Insane from the Bama Gulf Coast. Chad from Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Sweet. Brian from Melbourne, Florida. I see you, my friend. Neon Blue from East Coast, USA. Cool, cool. Deuce Legend from Antarctica, as always, we know. JJ King from outside, apparently. <laughs> Florida is in the house. Thank you guys again for all of your love. Uh, will the Blue Experience offer merch? Not a bad idea. Maybe eventually. Maybe eventually. Um, you have a cruise leaving Galveston on the 26th, so you'll be passing Houston on the day before. Nice. That's cool. Hey, enjoy that, man. New boy from England, thank you so much. Crozar, also representing Texas. Mike D, representing West Palm Beach. What's up, man? I've been enjoying driving with you, Mikey D. It's been fun. Um, yeah, I think I got everybody. E-Boss from Belgium. All right, guys, it's been fun, it's been cool. Uh, it is what it is, we're here. We did it, we made it, we're alive, we survived, and so have you. You made it, you made it through the week. You made it through the week. You can make it through another. Have an amazing weekend. I'll see you guys next week. I'm hoping now that we have a smoother stream, we can stream a little bit more often. Definitely be, uh, look forward to seeing the continued uh, series of my virtual pilot career with The Pilot's Life. We're in the middle of switching airlines, so I've been having some complications with that. That's gonna be pretty crazy. So I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but look for a video for that pretty soon. And for the rest of you guys, until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, or give it all you got. Peace love and god bless you i'll see you guys next time next video i am all the way out Sheesh.